All right, we're here live at the 2014 Tennis Orange Bowl where a whole bunch of kids' parents have forcefully dragged their kids from halfway around the world, only to get slaughtered in a tournament where only one can win. I'm Matthew Leonard reporting live from the scene. Now let's go talk to some kids. State your name and where you're from. CZ Bellis from Atherton, California. Michael Mo, uh, I'm from DC. Uh, Stefan Kozlov from the US. All right, we got Stefan Kozlov here. I'm from uh, Greece and my name is Stefanos Tsitsipas. Uh, my name's Raquel Pedraza and I'm from California. Riley Opelka from Palm Coast, Florida. Emily Abafna and I'm from London. Oh, Chase Colton, I'm from Florida. Oh, wait, you look familiar. <laughs> Charlotte Roviar Millet, and I'm from Canada. Nadia Gizdova. I'm Katie Swan, I'm from Great Britain. Oh, from two different places all across the world. So, how did you guys become friends? <laughs> Tandem, Syndra, Egypt. Egypt? Yeah. Uh, Washington, D.C. All right. What's your name? No, my name yeah. is Soyar Kanata. I'm Kylie McKenzie, and I'm from Arizona. Taylor Fritz from uh, San Diego. I'm Michaela Gordon, and I'm from USA. Orange Bowl, how much does it mean to you, Stefan? It's a great tournament, it's a great start for me, for my career. It must be important for you to win this tournament for uh, all the people back in Egypt. <laughs> it meant a lot to me when I was winning my match. It means a lot. It's one of the biggest terms of the year. I won already this tournament in 1985. So no <laughs> way, no way. Slide him out of here. All right, if you look here, you have a list of all the people who have lost. And then when you look here, this is what's left. Most likely, um, we gotta find who these people are and uh, definitely not care about who these are right here. In this tournament, it seems like everybody's at least like six feet or taller. <laughs> On TV, you're just a little bit shorter. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. thought I was gonna be taller than you, but uh, I was definitely wrong. 16-year-olds, yeah. they're like skyscrapers. How tall are you? About 6'4". Six, 6'4"? Four. Six, four. My goodness, right. you are tall, sir. 16. Yeah. Uh, 16. 16. 16. What are you eating? What are they feeding you in Greece? Yeah, it gets you that tall. I don't know, man. It's genetics, I guess. It's like I stepped into uh, Avatar, the movie, and you're almost as tall as me. Yeah, well, uh, good tennis players are usually tall. It helps a lot. It's ridiculous. What what, what can we do? Oh, hey, how you doing? So we've seen a lot of grunting today. Yeah. Full-on grunting. It's, it's just savagery. How do you feel about those grunters? I feel they are uh, a bit obnoxious, but I uh, also love it. I actually, I do grunt a little bit. Okay. Yeah, so I'm not gonna lie. I actually don't grunt, but I don't have anything against it. Thank you. I think it helps you breathe better and you know, focus. Just, I don't really like focus on my grunting, I kind of just do it. It shows that everyone's trying really hard. And that's exactly. just uh, what I want to do in my life. In this tournament, it's been a bloodbath. It's been, uh, everybody's been getting beaten and torn. Sit down, sit down. It looks like uh, they tore you up already. People depressed, they don't even want interviews. Basically, when you get to this part of the tournament, it's uh, whoever's left. Unfortunately, I've already lost in singles, but I've got doubles today, so we're going to win. Ah! How would you feel if you uh, had a loss today? Um, I feel really bad, because, right. I mean, if you came all this way and lose. Definitely. Yeah, that'd, 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 that'd be the worst thing ever. Yeah. I lost yesterday in the second round. Second round? Oh, yeah. Oh, well, I just lost 10 minutes ago. What round are you in right now? Yeah. I'm trying to find the singles. <laughs> We're trying to find the singles, guys. Is that you I'm today? Not I'm in doubles still, <laughs> so technically You're... not. In oh. Yeah. Oh, so the bloodbath uh, yeah, continues. The got me. I lost in volume. Oh, the qualifiers. The steps that you need to take in order to actually get in the Orange Bowl. So what you should have done was you should have drop shotted him. Probably. You didn't hear this from me. Okay. Um, once he's drop shotted. You peg him right between the eyes. You're still in the tournament? Yes. Yes. We actually found one that's still in the tournament. Everybody has been losing. The next time we uh, do Orange Bowl, we're gonna come during the first round. Yeah. That way we'll have a better <laughs> chance of getting people who win. Well, Chase, uh, it's, uh, you keep chasing your dreams, Chase. <laughs> you keep chasing your dreams. One player is the winner here. Only one. Only and it's gonna be you, right? Hopefully, we'll see. And then the rest get slaughtered. Players. <laughs> One player in singles, two players in doubles, and you're still in singles, sir. So, for doubles, who's your doubles partner? Uh, Casey Swin. No, oh, Casey Swin. How you doing? How you doing, Casey? <laughs> What's gonna keep your friend alive in this tournament? Because she's actually wanting to win. Um, I have no clue. You just step on him with your foot. You've been wiping out yeah. this whole tournament, and uh, I'm gonna go through it. you're gonna go through it. 
and just make sure you just demolish everyone. How, how is that uh, protecting all of your uh, internal organs? Look at the camera and tell them that you are going to win. We, we are going to win. win. You probably won't. But uh, what I like to liken these uh, tennis tournaments to is uh, basically the Hunger Games. Ever <laughs> heard of the Hunger Games? Yeah. You can be Katniss. All right. Wish you the best. Thank you. All right. You have a good one. You've been watching Racket Comedy and subscribe. There you have it. All right. <laughs>